Hi Alex, good to see you again. Hey David, good to see you too, yep. Um, I've mixed things up this week, I'm changing repertoires, so I play something I never play. Um, oh, okay. This kind That's of usually exciting. It's usually exciting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay, it depends on the result, I suppose, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, my strategy, I think, is I think there's too much theory in E45. Um, I wanted to pick something with a little bit less theory, you know? So I think E4, D5 takes that box. Yes, it's, it's, it's a practical choice, I would say, yeah? Because um, uh, the point being that, okay, there is still, still some theory in here as well. Of course. But yeah, but uh, it's kind of easier to navigate it because, I mean, uh, you can more or less automatically play it. I mean, you, uh, okay, you need to be careful about a thing or two, but then again, you can automatically play it and get out of the opening with a relatively uh, decent position. And uh, the, the practical, when I'm speaking about the practical part, is that a white player, if he wants to achieve an advantage against the Scandinavian or center counter, uh, opening yeah mm -hmm. uh, he should be really well prepared and uh, I mean that is a very rare case at the level below why it's a GM or I am level okay Great, I mean yeah. people usually underestimate the, 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 the opening and they don't prepare so well against it and even if they do I mean they really need to dig really really deep in order to, to get an advantage because I know I have I, I'm, a E4, I'm an E4 player and I know I've had really big difficulties finding that elusive advantage against the yeah. Scandinavian. So, so I know what I what I'm talking about. So Great. yeah, it, it's a practical choice. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Um, but I, I've, I've started studying some theory, but I only studied about twenty percent. So okay. I only know the main main line basically. Um, okay. And I think he played something different here. So okay. E takes D five, Queen takes D five, Knight C three, main line so far I okay. think. And I played Bishop C four. So I know the lines after D four straight away. So that put me off a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but okay, it can transpose. It can transpose. Yeah, it I can, mean, it can. Um, but yeah, yeah, so I don't know the theory, basically. Uh -huh. So I just had to figure the moves out. And I know that there is uh, one variation that recommends uh, queenside expansion with um, a6, yeah, yeah. which okay. is what I did that. Okay. Oh. It's possible, although, I mean, uh, I would say normal moves like knight f6, it's also fine. Mm -hmm. So maybe even c6 is fine. Yeah. So, I mean, sooner or later, he'll pro most probably play d4. So that will transpose, I would say. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably so better. Uh -huh. you basically, you should, you, should, you should stick to your stuff. I mean, uh, here, had he played d4, what would you have played? a6 not, again? Not, or not a6. Ah, f6. So, okay, you should have played again and waited for a transposition. So here and then you wait. I mean, then, then you, you do your stuff. I mean, whichever that was, bishop f5, or I don't know, or True. c6 or... So I mean, more or less the same. So when he does this, you you, you still play your normal move knight f6, and then you wait, see if, wait for him to transpose. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, I think it is the best way, I mean, best uh, move probably to transpose. Because knight f3, for example, I'm not sure. Okay, just bishop f5, I would say, and then e6, and you're fine. So looks like uh, I mean, he has no other choice, reasonable choice, but to transpose. That's but it. it's, it's a possible move. I mean, it, it's fine. It's fine because okay, already with his next move, you maybe it's completely out of theory, and it's uh, yeah. <laughs> so you you both start to, to think on your own. Oh, yeah. yeah, but okay, yeah, I, I can see your point. I think knight f six is definitely better, and um, yeah, I think I felt and also more practical, also more practical mm -hmm. because uh, yeah, it follows the opening um, principles as well, and um, yeah, okay, um, should have okay, done yeah, that. <laughs> No, but this doesn't spell anything. I mean, okay, it's still the... No, but yeah, I think the problem in this game I had, I used too much time and then, I don't know, uh -huh. must have messed uh -huh. up because of time. Uh, poor calculation probably at some point, but let's see. So a3, um, e6, I mean, I figured that I'm going to put my bishop on b7 anyway. Uh-huh, okay, okay. Queen e2, felt very aggressive, so... Okay. Knight f6, seems okay. D4. Yeah, queen e2 okay now well but a bit odd because i mean if he wanted to play d4 he could have played immediately d4 and wait for the queen to to determine the position later so yeah kind of too early because queen e2 knight of d4 now what happens if you take I mean, that's yeah I, I i didn't even realize i could take because ah. <laughs> in my that's, mind that's odd. 
that point was protected. <laughs> yes, yes, but now it's not. So I, I would say just take. Uh, of course. Okay, he, he wins some tempi. Yeah, okay, knight f3, maybe go back, let's say. Okay, win some tempi. But okay, you, your position is very solid and it's a pawn up. So, I mean, quickly, he can't really prevent you from going bishop b7 and castle. Mm -hmm. and okay, then you're a pawn up. Okay, maybe you suffer a bit, maybe knight d7 or something, you cover something on the d file, but it's a pawn up. So, I mean, it's worth it's worth taking. I mean, there was a rule, I think, by Nimsovic or, yeah. or, or, or Tarash from the old days. Yeah, they say, okay, if a central pawn can be taken unless, uh, okay, there is something really visible. I can't remember exactly the rule, but the, the how it w went, but it was something about, okay, yeah, you should be able to take a pawn and suffer a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. For that pawn, if it's a central pawn, if it's a, it's a if it's a wing pawn, okay, then maybe more dangerous. Yeah. But for a central pawn, yeah, for a central pawn, you should be ready to to take it and suffer for a while, uh -huh. okay. But then you remain a pawn up. Sounds very interesting. So it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it should be, should be, should yeah. be. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing is, I was basically blind to it, um, yeah. and I think this has to do with the fact that I just switched openings too, because this, this is my first ever Scandinavian game, like uh -huh. not even in uh -huh. Blitz, nothing. So I think. Um, obviously, I'm a cognitive psychologist, so I would like to say uh -huh. that the more comfortable you feel with the structures, and if you've seen it before, it's easier to notice yeah. those kind of things. I was too, uh -huh. I don't know, absorbed in, I don't know, just finding the opening moves because I was out of theory. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my excuse, anyway. And uh, let's, put yeah, a, <laughs> let's put yeah, but a, okay, yeah, okay, wait, yeah, but sure, okay. I saw, I saw that that pawn was um, up for taking. Um, here after i played bishop b7 i'm like oh look at that d4 pawn but then of course yeah. knight f3 and my opportunity is gone <laughs> yeah 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 now it's back to normal stuff <laughs> yeah i mean i think bishop b7 i played automatically you know so uh -huh. but still okay i just, just one more thing before we continue just yeah. to, to address this, this issue yeah with d4 i mean uh uh like a um, a cure okay let's say cure against these kind of problems is always to to consider your opponent's move and then say okay what is this okay why is he playing this what's happening okay and he plays d4 and if you just stop and see okay d4 upon appears on d4 i mean what's going on in the center where my pieces are attacking what's going on if you just do this basic stuff that you i mean people teach to people who don't know how to play chess when they learn how to move the pieces etc okay mm -hmm. and you tell them okay this poor the pawns go forward they take one square to the side okay and these kind of things and this is actually uh, okay when we want to play chess this kind of you forget about these things but it's actually useful because okay the pawn goes forward but okay is this pawn protected okay or is there any any piece attacking that pawn okay so this this very 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 basic yeah. stuff that you teach to beginners it's actually quite useful when you're when you're facing something new unexpected okay as you say change repertoire new structure something so it's kind of it pays off to to be like as a beginner okay so you, you look, okay, what's going on? Okay, here, okay, that pawn goes there. Okay, what's going on? What does he want to do? Does he want to push? Okay, I, I, I control that square. Do I control that square? Yeah, I control that square. So what uh -huh. does he defend with? Nothing. Well, come on, what is this now? Yeah. Nothing. What do you mean? Okay. And then you start thinking in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'll, yeah. I'll try and start practicing that more regularly. Try and make it a habit. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know the, the typical, the beginner's mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So okay, yeah. let's. But okay, b5. Okay, apart from not taking the pawn. Okay, the position that arises after bishop e7, knight f3, bishop e7, bishop g5. All this is normal stuff. Okay, this is already a normal position, and a normal middle game. I mean, you're not worse. You have a decent position, decent development. Everything is fine, and now the real battle begins. So I mean, you survived the opening in spite of being your first ever. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you survived it with a good position, and that's a positive sign for. I mean, uh, for the opening. Yeah. And okay, here, okay, h6, bishop h4, this is all kind of okay. Let's say knight h4, okay, and now, when, the moment he castles long, now this determines the, the, uh, the future course of the game, okay? He castles long, so he shows his aggressive, uh, yeah, aggressive intentions, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also gives you opportunities to attack him as well. And this is more or less now the, the critical, um, the critical, let's say, position in the opening, because after his long, he could have castle short, right? And now it's a completely different game, right? Okay, this is completely different because he's casting short. There will be no attacks on the king because you also probably castle short. No more attacks on the king. Okay, more positional, etc., etc. 
But by casting long, the game is, is going in another direction, which is uh, uh, more sharp, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, probably with, with attacks on both kings, etc., etc. So this is the, let's say, the starting point of the, of the middle game, okay? Where the game is determined in which direction it will go. Um, so now, okay, your next move, knight b6, I'm not so sure about. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to prevent d5. But you're actually allowing it, you see? I mean, he can take, take and push d5. You're actually allowing it. So uh, I don't know if it's any good, but you're allowing it. So, I mean... But, uh, so, I mean, so I can't prevent it. I mean, I guess c6 then. Uh, yeah, but c6 is just ugly, yeah? I mean, I thought you just castle. Okay, and then d5. It doesn't matter. Yeah, d5, now you take. Now you just take, take everything is exchanged there, no problem. Uh, take take with no okay i mean d5 take with the knight and then there is this trick with knight c3 if he takes on e7 mm. knight c3 and check here so he can't really play d5 mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. the problem with knight b6 is your king is still in the center so there are problems on the e file now once you castle you're doing fine okay and okay and then now on the next move maybe you play c5 maybe you play b4 whatever okay you see you see what what happens yeah yeah this looks like okay decent okay maybe okay i don't know maybe he can start sometime g4 and i wouldn't take Probably something like c5, you play to your own, to yourself. And this is become, becoming very sharp, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, he pushes here, you push there, and it's becoming very sharp, but I don't think black is worse at all. I mean, c5, mm -hmm. d takes on c5, okay, what d bishop takes. takes. You, you, you move the queen, okay? Mm -hmm. Just you know, take with the knight and then attack that one. So I think this is this is like looks like uh, some, okay? Not exactly, but maybe some Sicilian or French positions with the opposite side casting and uh, this looks pretty good for black if you ask me because you once you take on c5 with the knight you win a tempo by hitting this bishop so he needs to waste time on moving it then there are ideas like knight a4 maybe b4 putting a rook on c8 okay it's it's, it's rich counterplay okay mm -hmm. he has some also on his own something like g5 opening the g5 etc so it's sharp but uh, black is not worse at all in, in my opinion Mm -hmm. So that I mean, casting would have been what I would play. Probably. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I just um, I was afraid of d five, and I thought I was preventing it. But you're right; I'm allowing it. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, okay, maybe I don't know. After bishop f six, you can take with the pawn, which is not what you would like to do, but still. Okay, uh, maybe it's possible to play like this. I don't know, mm -hmm. uh, but it's still not what you would want. Yeah, probably you want to, to keep a safe. But maybe, maybe, okay. If you if your days to, to prevent d5, uh, maybe it works. Although I'm not sure, uh, maybe you can still push push d5. I don't know. Okay, because then you're stuck with a uh, weird pawn on d5 and problems on d file. So maybe right now I, I don't like this at all. I mean, no, no, no. I agree. I agree. It looks like castle so much better move. Um, so did not see that. Yeah. Okay. Once he played this, now you're okay, okay again. Yeah, because it managed to put the knight on d5. You control it, so now you're okay. I think you're fine. So okay, he took, he took, 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 ninety five. Okay, normal I suppose. The castle, normal again I suppose. Okay, G four now. Okay. Okay, now now this G five. Well, uh, I wouldn't play it probably. <laughs> Although I'm not sure it's bad. I mean, I don't know. It just looks uh, very. Uh, yeah, I just thought after g5, if he plays g5, he's opening everything up on that side, right? Yes and no, because, uh, okay, if he plays g5, you obviously take, and then he takes, okay? And then, okay, the, the g5 still he needs to play one move, spend one move to put a rook there, and then another move to move the bishop. So it, this gives you some time. I don't know, here, maybe, I don't know, uh, uh, Maybe, I don't know, I mean, c5 is a typical move you normally play in these positions. So, um, c5 and now, I don't know, uh, what, I mean, take, take, yeah, I suppose. And, uh, I don't know if there's bishop of c, bishop of c, knight is 7 I don't know if that works, let's check, okay. Take, take, knight is 7 I don't know if this works, but we'll see. Okay, you can give this check and that probably saves you. Yeah, there, there, and move the rook. Mm -hmm. should, be, should be fine. And, uh, okay, so it doesn't work. Okay, so c5 is normally the move you make in these structures. Yeah, you want to exchange this d4 pawn, which gives him this uh, territorial advantage. Yeah? And, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I mean, okay, let's say take, take, he pushes g5, okay? 
Okay, but now again, look, D8, it's fine. I mean, I mean, I mean, if it's not clear why this is fine for you, uh, let me explain. Okay, uh, so the G file is open, yes, but now the center is also open. Mm -hmm. So the the majority of things happen in the center now, and he he does not have the time or the firepower to dedicate too many pieces on the on the on the king side and on the G file. Because I mean, okay, rook d8, you want to exchange one pair of pieces, one pair of rooks, okay? If you if you go through rook g1, maybe you take and put another rook there, so you want to exchange another one, okay? So there is no time, or, or there are and there are not enough pieces for him to attack. Here, and that knight okay? to f7 is not working right now. I don't know. Let's check. Okay, knight f7. There is still this flick on d1, just to worsen his mm, position. Mm -hmm. That's for one. So I mean, he must take with the king now, okay? Mm -hmm. And now maybe even simple, just check and take the knight, and she's probably just... Oh, right, yeah, right. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Knight f7. So rook f8, okay, you're creating counterplay in the center, and uh, there is no time for him to, to attack on the on the king side. And then, okay, any endgame probably is quite good for you, because he has weaknesses here. So yeah. uh, this is what, uh, what I would probably play c5, it's kind of more... Uh, Let's say the classical way to treat the position. Of course, well, I cannot say for g5. G5 this is probably some ultra modern way to, to treat yeah. the position. Yeah? <laughs> because okay, I mean, yeah, you stop g5 in, in, in its tracks, but also you weaken the position of your king. So, and uh, uh, generally, I mean, uh, you want to keep your king safe. Yeah. But okay, let, let's see. I mean, it's after, okay, just to conclude, see if after c5 you're fine, perfectly fine, yeah, I mean, no problem whatsoever. And after the game move, this, this, okay, queen a2, c3, obviously, yeah? But now, I mean, uh, rook fc8, f4, I don't like it anymore. So probably here you need to put the knight in d5. Yeah, but he still he still gets knight to f7, right? And I can take with the rook, why? Ah, right, yeah, of course. Yeah. You take with the rook, yeah. But, I mean, so I, was, I was concerned about knight to c6. <laughs> It's okay, but that doesn't do much. But yeah, my bishop can go to f6, I guess. Oh, d6, or maybe I don't know if this works. No idea. Mm. I just, just, I don't know, no idea. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But uh, okay, I mean, any any other move is fine. Uh, so, I don't know if, no, that's a 3, that is a, no, I don't know. So, bishop a3, I don't know if it works. I mean, it looks interesting, but maybe it doesn't work. Who knows? Check. Maybe it does. I, I don't, don't think. I mean, I was trying to make that work, but no. I mean, here, here, bishop a3, okay. What does he play? If he takes, you have this check. Let's go there. No, okay, at least probably okay. Check this one here and pick up this one. Uh, looks like working. Oh yeah, yeah. That, there it's working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, didn't get it, it to like... work. Um, so the, what I missed there was um, I show you. So. I just, I looked at this, I didn't, and then obviously after this it doesn't work. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you yeah, know. But the trick is, I didn't see this move. Um, uh -huh. I mean, this is checkmate, so he doesn't want to do that. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I didn't see queen to a1 check. Uh -huh. But okay, I mean, here, I mean, uh, okay, a practical thing to do would be, okay, you have two checks, right? You have to check both. Yeah. I mean, a3, okay, you check, I mean, the, the to, to realize that queen a3 is bad takes you like two seconds, yeah, it's queen a3, queen b2 game. Yeah. So you check the other one. I mean, don't stop. I mean, no, no, it's promising, so why, why, why stop? I mean, just try the other one. No, no, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it's just, um, again, and I put a blame on the clock. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. okay, okay. I did, I, cal yeah, that, I think I, I calculated very well in my last tournament, but yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, yeah, but the clock, clock, I mean, this is a completely separate issue. I mean, uh, uh, that affects always, it always affects the, the second part of the game where actually the game is decided and that is kind of makes it a must for any chess player to leave himself enough time for the second half of the game when the game is decided. So, I mean, I don't know, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, all the reasons why you're struggling with the clock because it, it's a recurring, recurrent... Uh, oh, well, today it's because I didn't know any theories. I was taking quite I've, a long time to consider uh, my moves. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that, that, all, that can affect, yeah, not knowing the opening well enough affects, uh, I mean, time management because... Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's okay, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. I, I enjoy the position more than I enjoy E4, uh -huh. E5, so 
I am going to keep learning the theory and um, uh-huh. I think, yeah, once I learn all the theory, I think I need to get a, a bunch of quick games in just to get a better feel for things. Uh, yes. yes. And I yes. hopefully I'll be playing this better. Um, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm looking forward to... I mean, also, during this game, you learn this kind of the importance of the C5 liberating... Yeah, I had, I had C5 in my mind, like, a long time, but because his rook was on D1 and my queen was yeah. on D8, it just, I don't know, it didn't happen, I mean, but... I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. But sometimes, I mean, yeah, okay, C5, so you saw, I mean, C5, D, C5, you have to move the queen first. Yeah. But sometimes it may even be possible to play queen C8 or something like that, and then push C5. Mm-hmm. Okay? Just to get the queen out of the way before pushing C5. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, okay, I'm just saying as, a, as an idea. So, yeah, but I, don't, I mean, yeah, you must really keep a good eye on the on the clock because it's... Uh, no, I, I agree, I agree. Um, You know, I don't enjoy the online clocks, but I think I still learn something, so... <laughs> um, uh-huh. yeah. So okay, here I think ninety five would have been the, I mean, like I said, the the justification uh, for for g five, okay, just prevent that. For... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why I, I wanted to play knight to d five, but I thought I had to make room for my bishop first. So unfortunately, uh-huh. I guess the blunder was so. The, so I, I moved rook f c eight, so I could move knight to d five. That's why when he went f four, I very happily uh-huh. played knight to d five. But now f seven is not defended, and knight takes and f seven works. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah. unfortunately, um, here. Yeah, that, and, and, thing, and then, okay, from what I can see, the, the rest is just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just. Uh, Horrible. Just, <laughs> okay, so, I don't, miscalculation I don't here, miscalculation, I guess. Um, I really should yeah. have been able, even with low time, to calculate queen to a1 check. Um, and also the good thing with knight e5 is that it also creates the threat of knight c3 which you played in yeah, the game. Yeah, right? exactly. That's what I wanted. <laughs> it's all yes. that. Yes. And uh, so it looks like, uh, I mean, yeah, a decent, I mean, a good move, obviously, and also a decent position for you because you are starting to create threats on your own and, okay, you must be also careful about his own king. I mean, the queen on h is quite annoying. Mm-hmm. So, and again, you're preventing f4, okay, and uh, it's it looks like a, a decent. Uh, quite a decent position for you. Of so course. too bad, I mean, you used poly it in a kind of basically in one move with C8 and allowing F4, and now you're in trouble, you're just lagging behind with your with your counterplay. So, yeah, F4 and I defy, but then this and just everything falls apart. Yeah. And the bad thing, yeah. That's yeah, okay, I'm that. feeling pretty happy and pretty confident. Um, I'll keep learning okay. it. And when I finish learning the theory as soon as possible, and um, hopefully you start seeing some better Scandinavian games for me. Yeah, looking forward to that actually. Yeah, because okay, this, this is a, like like I said, okay, as a start, you the opening went pretty well. I mean, uh, okay, even without knowing the theory, you you na- successfully navigated the uh, the opening. And I mean, like I said, okay, when was it? When move? Which one was it? I move, let's say eleven. Yeah, you finished development in a very harmonious way. I mean, you you're doing fine. So uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a good good opening for you. I mean, uh, you, you you had a good result with it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Out of the opening. Yeah, I mean, the, so, yeah, like the only difference was I had like fifteen minutes or fourteen minutes left, and he had twenty seven. So. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's of course, yeah, that's uh, that's different. It, I mean, it is encouraging though, and I'm looking forward to playing it again. And um, I also yeah. switch my my d four d five. I'm gonna play the queen's gambit declined, so ah, yeah, you, good, you, you good, can look yeah, forward to that. Yeah. But um. Yeah, again, I think, um, I mean, there was some research done. I wrote a blog about it. Like, when you play structures you don't know that you haven't seen, patterns you haven't seen, your ELO is supposed to be two standard deviations lower. Um, uh-huh. Because, you know, I guess you take too much time to, to look at the nuances. Whereas if you play this all the time, it'll be almost automatic, yes. right? I think. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that is true. That is eventually, true. after people leave their deep one hanging enough times, <laughs> you won't miss it anymore. <laughs> you'll be like, <laughs> No, I think that the second time they leave it will take it. I mean, yeah. I think after this time, I mean, that's it. I mean, you won't yeah. miss taking it the next time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, that's true, of course. I mean, that's why people study openings and uh, dedicate time uh, studying openings because, they, I mean, apart from knowing the structures and everything, also saves time on the clock. And also, you, you enter the middle game uh, already knowing the typical plans, yeah, yeah. tactical tricks, uh, uh, possibilities, and everything. So it's also practical. I mean, studying the opening well. Yeah, so I, I agree. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm going to continue okay. doing it. And um, I guess we'll see you next week.
Yeah, 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 looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Too, Too bad, bad about, about this game, game, but okay, at least it's encouraging for your opening. As you know, uh, whenever you lose, you learn, right? And um, yeah, exactly. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's true, All right. That's true. So don't don't, don't learn too much. much. Yeah, no, no. Start winning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just start winning. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Alex. All right. Cheers. Yeah, exactly. Bye. 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 Bye.